Hi, I'm Mark Tewart, and thanks for tuning in to our video series, Why Automotive Dealerships Struggle. In video 26, we're going to talk about lack of effective follow-up. Whether it's the internet, whether it's the phone, whether it's walk-ins, or any other way you may get business, what are you doing to follow up? It's a proven fact that a lot of people don't always buy when they first come in, and it's also a proven fact that in dealerships we've gotten very lackadaisical about that follow-up. We don't believe in that quote, be back bus. But the reality is you do everything you can when they're there. But what are you going to do afterwards? What if they haven't even shown up yet? What I'm finding is most dealerships don't continue to fall in a system. They're not using their CRM in a system knowing what they're going to say and what they're going to email every single day or text for the first week or two weeks or first month and what happens with your residual lead flow after that 30 days or 45 days, etc. You have to have a written plan for not only your email follow-up, your text follow-up if you're allowed to, your phone follow-up, but also if it's a walk-in customer, what are you going to do if they're around you? Often we have closed deals by going directly to that customer. When I say around you, are they within driving distance? I have talked to customers before, or salespeople before, where they said, well, I can't get the customer. Okay, what's keeping you chained to your dealership? What is wrong with getting in your car and going to them? You may say, well, that may make somebody upset. I understand, but you're getting nothing now. What have you got to lose? Sometimes you just got to get out of your comfort zone and go to theirs. Look at every single way that you follow up and plan it for 30, 45, 60 days. What are you going to do that's different, unique? What are you going to keep adding value? And here's something else. When you follow up with people, you have to change the way they're making their decision. You have to give them different criteria, different information that changes their decision process. You have to walk the wheel, walking the wheel of your deal. Meaning, if they came in on a buy, have you also talked about a lease? If they came in on a lease, did you talk about a buy? If you came in and they came in and talked to you about payments, have you given them shorter term, longer term? Have you talked to them about cash back? Have you talked to them about doing two trades instead of one or a different trade or taking the trade out of the deal? In other words, what I'm going through is there's a scenario out there that would make somebody want to take action. And often, we just don't try hard enough. We give up. We do not give people a different way to make a decision. If they've said no, they can't say face. It's hard for them to come back and say yes to something they've said no to. Change what they're making their decision on. Walk the wheel. My name is Mark Tewart. Make sure you tune in to the rest of this video series. Go to my website, get your free email, email newsletter at Tewart.com. You can call me anytime at 888-2-Tewart. And as always, here's to you and good selling.